everybody. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to Travel Tuesday. So uh, I know that we have a few guests who've been invited today. So if you haven't met me before, hi, I'm Kick-Ass Kylie. I'm the crazy mum from the Wit Sundays, and uh, I have got what we call the post dream trips glow. Although I think some of you may have the post dream trips blues because uh, if you haven't seen us on social media, which I don't think anyone in the world has missed, the amount of posts that have been flooding everyone's news feed, we've all recently just got back from our first dream trip with Dream Trips International down under. So yay! And it's so great to see so many of your beautiful faces back. And uh, we are going to hear from some of our Dream Trippers tonight who've just uh, come back from that Dream Trip. And I think what I really truly love, the magic of Dream Trips, is that you often get what you don't expect. It's one thing, you know, I've travelled extensively, but uh, Dream Tripping is very different and I know we've got a few of you who are on tonight to kind of check it out and see if this is for you. So if you are a guest, first and foremost, would love to just say from my heart to yours, a massive heartfelt welcome. Something that I really love about dream trips. You know, when I was a kid and I went to school, I was one of those misfits that didn't fit in and wasn't one of the popular kids, wasn't one of the cool kids. I wasn't smart enough to be one of the smart kids, wasn't naughty enough to be one of the naughty kids and just kind of felt like a misfit. And what I really love about dream trips is that everybody feels loved, welcomed and included. So uh, there's, there's no judgment and it doesn't matter if you're young, old, male, female, black, white or what accent from what country you're from, um, everyone is loved and appreciated as part of our community. So guys, before we kick off, I know that we do have a few guests on tonight and I wanted to just do a really super quick recap on exactly what our Dream Trips loyalty program is and what our different membership level benefits are and our loyalty program. And I promise to keep it short and sweet. And it's really good for all of you who've been members who may be going, <clears throat> I want you to really hone in and pay attention because the amount of times that people come to me and say, oh, I didn't know we had all, I wish we had. And I said, well, actually, we do have all of those things. So I'm going to do a super quick recap for you. Then we are going to dive into dream trips. So we're going to hear from some of our dream trippers who've just got back from Gari or Fraser Island, as it used to be called. It's just been renamed. And then we are going to announce two new dream trips that haven't even been, um, they're not even finalised yet. So we've got to save the date for two trips. And I can tell you, uh, as soon as they go live in the portal, they are going to sell out. So for those of you who are like, it's not fair, we don't know, well, nobody knows. Um, and we are really, really excited to share these with you. So I know this is going to sound crazy for you guys, but I've actually prepared a little PowerPoint, which, you know, guys, I hate PowerPoint, right? So I promise you it won't be death by PowerPoint. We're going to work through this super quick. But I think it's really, really important um, for us all to just know exactly what we have as part of our membership. So, of course, as the name implies, dream trips, we are dream trips, not crap trips, not cheap trips. And I think some of our members have certainly experienced that um, over this past week. So first and foremost, do a really quick recap on our member loyalty program. So when you're part of our Dream Trips community, for every dollar you pay towards your membership, you get $3 back in member loyalty credit. So you pay a dollar, you get three back. And uh, in my brain, any day of the week, that's a really great deal. And you can use those loyalty points to book hotels, condos, and the onboard cruise cabin credit for cruises. And uh, Kath Barker and myself, on the way down, we booked, um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was a hotel at uh, Rockhampton. And we saved about 45 US dollars on the way down. And on the way back, we stayed at Yapoon and we, st uh, we saved uh, almost 60 US dollars. And that paid for our dinner which was pretty cool. And that was thanks to those loyalty points. Now, every time you book through the portal, you also earn back another 25%. So those rooms we booked on the way down and on the way back, we also then got 25% of that whole booking value back, which is now more credit sitting in our portal to book more travels, which is pretty cool. 
And unlike many other programs, those points never expire, which is fantastic. Now we do have three different levels of membership. You've got standard plus and priority, and uh, you can join on any of those right now for just $1. And for you $1, no matter which option you choose, you're instantly going to get 500 loyalty points, which is 500 US dollars of credit that you can use towards those trips. Now, remember I said at each level, for every dollar you pay, you get $3 back. So a standard is just $70 a month. These are all in US dollars. So you get $210 a month. So it's like a holiday savings plan. $70 a month, you're saving $210 that you can then put towards those hotels and condos. If you're a Plus member, um, not only do you get our amazing dream trips, which we're going to share a couple of those tonight, you get your booking portal um, and cruises, but as a Plus member, you also get concierge. And you're going to hear from one of our leaders, Jeffrey Ross, who I've known for about 15 years, and we did the Hawaii dream trip together last year. We also uh, just came back from Gari together and uh, Jeff has an incredible concierge story. So I'm going to let him share that a little later as well. And they're literally, they're available for you 24 seven to support you with pretty much anything. So our plus membership is just hundred a month and that gives you 300 uh, loyalty points. I'm personally a priority. I just, you know, I like the best. I like all the VIP perks. So uh, ours is 130 a month, which gives us 390 um, credit, which is amazing. But the really cool thing is if you choose to refer four members at the same level, you actually get your membership for free as a thank you. So uh, I get 390 loyalty points a month, but I actually don't pay anything for my membership. It's completely free. And in addition to all of the other um, benefits of being part of the membership program, as a priority, my absolute favorite is we get VIP airport lounge passes. So when you book those airport lounges, that's absolutely free um, for our priority members, which is a really cool perk. We also get seven day early booking access to our dream trips. So uh, they're loaded into our portal first, seven days in advance before other members, which means, you know, for trips like the ones I'm going to share with you um, this evening, you know, it's potential that they could just get snapped up really quickly. We know that they will, which is why we're kind of showcasing them early to our Oceana team. And uh, you also get there, you can see the personal loyalty concierge twice a year. So, you know, all those cards, you've got all your different um, credit cards, frequent flyers, flybys, um, whatever other hotel chains you're a part of, whatever. You give all of that over to our loyalty concierge. They put it all together and build a trip for you twice a year. And uh, look, personally, I'm in so many programs, but I never use it because it's just such a, you know, time suck to be able to put it all together. So that's another massive benefit. It's kind of like having two free holidays a year um, by being a priority member as well. Now, the other cool thing, just to wrap up on this slide, you can upgrade, downgrade or cancel at any time. So there are no lock-in contracts, which is really important to know as well. But of course, once you've been on a dream trip, you'll be a member for a life. We know you won't want to travel any other way. Now, you also earn 25% back of any cruise bookings through our portal as well, which is fantastic. And uh, speaking of cruises... Who are my cruising people? Who loves cruises? Drop me a cruise in the chat. So uh, one of the many member perks that we have is once you have been a member of our club for just six months, you and your favorite plus one get to go on a free cruise. So this little chart is just an example. You can see there month one, you pay a dollar to join. And if you were just a standard member paying 70 a month, you can see month 270, month 370. But look at the right hand side. You can see first month you get $500, those 500 points that are a bonus loyalty credit another 210 the next month. So now you're at 710 and so forth. Now, if you have a look, once you get down to month six, you've actually paid $350 worth of membership fees or 351 if you count your $1 on month one. But look at that. You've actually received $1,550 in member loyalty credit and a $1,000 cruise voucher. So $351 in, $2,500 in value back. 
So, you know, I like to say that is a complete no brainer. And uh, we are just so freaking excited about our loyalty program. Now, that is our loyalty program. But the next thing that we wanted to share with you is dream trips. And real quick, I want to share that not only do we have our member loyalty program, we have a dream trips rewards program. So once you've taken just five dream trips, you earn another free cruise. So the more you travel, guess what? The more you are rewarded with more travel so you can travel even more. So once you've taken 10 dream trips, you earn $1,000 towards dream trips, which is incredible. Once you've been on 15, two and a half thousand, this is my favorite. Once you've taken 20 trips, the dream trips birthday concierge will give you a call because you've now earned a $5,000 dream birthday experience. That could be a lunch, it could be a trip, it could be a cruise, it could be what it could be you and your favorite plus one doing a, uh, a dream trip. For me, I can't wait to take a bunch of my friends to the Greek islands. We're going to sail on yachts around the Greek islands and then go do the Mamma Mia experience where they filmed the Mamma Mia movie. You are literally limited by your imagination. And then this one, once you have taken 100 dream trips, now I literally know people who average. Uh, 10 dream trips a year. So basically within 10 years, you could earn a $50,000 custom dream trip of a lifetime for you. Or it might be you put, you know, um, $1,000 each and you take 50 of your best buddies on an amazing trip. Like really, you can do absolutely anything. So that dream trips rewards program is really second to none. So the more you travel, the more you're rewarded, the longer you remember the more you're rewarded. The more you book through the portal, the more you're rewarded. So our Dream Trips Rewards program really is the best thing I've ever seen on the planet. So we've all just come back from this Dream Trip, Gari. So if you're wondering what the heck is Gari, well, literally the week before we arrived, Fraser Island was renamed um, in a, a massive renaming ceremony by our Aborigines, our Indigenous here in Australia, um, from Fraser Island to Gari. So the K is a silent. So just think you don't say knife, you say knife. So it's the same, Gari. And we stayed at the absolute magnificent Kingfisher Bay Resort. So we had a four day, three night trip. And there were so many inclusions on this trip. Airport transfers, a welcome party with our signature cocktail, a dreamsicle. We had our half day tour, the picture you can see there, to Lake Mackenzie and then to Central Station. And that included morning tea and an amazing ranger who was our bus driver and guide. We had an incredible half day training with Mark and Tammy Smith our owners and CEO, and that included morning tea and lunch. Now, that's not on every dream trip. That was because this was the Discover Dream Trip that actually uh, includes a training for those people who actually want to be able to become an ambassador and to get paid to share this program with others. But most people just join as a member and they just love the, uh, the benefits and the savings and all of the rewards that come with the travel part of our club. And uh, we had an amazing farewell party with dinner, DJ, and lots of dancing. We had daily buffet breakfast. We had an amazing dream trip post. Maybe someone might tell you something about her. I don't know. I, I look forward to hearing your comments on that one. And, of course, we had our what, uh, what to know before you go guide in our WhatsApp chat to keep everybody informed. So I'm actually now going to uh, stop sharing my screen because we want to hear from some of our dream trippers who actually enjoyed this incredible trip. Now, we had many first timers on this trip and I'm just going to actually open up my uh, little page here so I can see who I have. Okie dokie. So first up, I'm actually going to throw, just, you know, not throwing you under the bus, but just like you can do this, um, to someone who I've known for a very long time. She actually came through... Um, my business coaching program. So we met at the National College of Business and uh, I know this lady loves to party. She loves to travel. And this was our first dream trip together. So Sue Cooper, I would love for you, if you can, to unmute. And uh, I know this was your first dream trip. 
you've followed my journey and seen me do many, 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 many dream trips over the last eight and a half years. So uh, I'm going to highlight you and would love for you to share what was your experience of our Gari dream trip? So I had an absolute blast. I'm a very um, introverted, keep to myself sort of person. And I just felt um, like I was among a huge group of friends. That was what really stood out the most was the, you know, within minutes, you know, I've made lifelong friends. Um, And the other thing that I really liked was I have travelled alone before and it's not the same. There's no one to share the experience and the excitement with. Whereas, you know, the, everything we did was in groups and, and um, yeah, just enjoyed it from, from start to finish. Oh, Sue, thank you so much for sharing Beautiful. And it was just so lovely to, to see your smile. And there were so many times, like, Sue would just come up to me and go, oh, my gosh, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> and, you know, that was just, it makes my heart sing. So thank you so much, Sue. It was great to have you on the trip and can't wait to have you on the next one. All righty, so next up, we have a beautiful lady from Bundaberg. Now, this gorgeous lady had her beautiful son with her on this trip. And, you know, as from one single mum to another, you know, it's really lovely that when you come on a trip like this, even as a single mum, you know, you're not alone. And uh, Mira and I have known each other for a long time. And uh, I know you've been part of Dream Trips on and off for a while. So I'm so excited to hear your um, experience from your perspective. So over to you, beautiful lady. Thank you, thank you. It's so good to see everybody. (laughs) I was so excited to come to the suit and see you all again. (laughs) Yeah, so definitely the connections that were made and what Sue said, how she's a bit of an introvert and I'm like an extrovert, but I became really introverted in the beginning, quite shy, like I didn't know anybody but Kylie. And, and, but like instantly everybody was very welcoming and you don't have to be shy or alone or don't really know what to do because there's people like catching you everywhere. You don't have to participate because some people might like, you know, to wander off by themselves, but just to have the opportunity to do it with others and to have so many new friends to like, choose from to sit with it's really really lovely because I have never been on a holiday by myself and I have not been on a holiday for eight years since my son is born so this was massive for me it really changed a lot in my own um, uh, possibility thinking like anything is possible through dream trips I really believe that now something really shifted for me moving forward with my life and travels with my children And meeting all these amazing friends and their children. Because Luke already keeps asking, when is he seeing everybody again? So cute. So, yeah, I want to keep a promise to him as well to do it uh, as soon as possible again. And also definitely the opportunity to share this with especially my close friends who also not have had many holidays in recent years. That this is really doable option for everyone. Yeah, very excited. Thank you so much. Oh, Mira, thank you so much for sharing beautiful and um, and it really was so, so awesome to have you on the trip. And look, one of the other benefits that happens on a dream trip, the community, like we had people like at Lake Mackenzie, and I don't know if I've got Diane and I might get Diane to share. I know you're not on my list, Diane, but you know, I'm just going to get you to share at some point. And, uh, you know, we had people from other tours who didn't even know us who were coming up to our Dream Trip members saying, who are you guys? Like, what's your tour? Some people even thought that we were part of a family or a wedding and they just couldn't believe the community of, you know, they they just wanted to be a part of it. And, uh, you know, no matter what happens on a Dream Trip, everyone's got your back. And for me, on the way down, I got a flat tire in my car and I ended up with my car. I'll give you the short version. After a police escort, we ended up in Bundaberg and then we had to Uber down to uh, to catch the ferry. And then I'm thinking, how are we going to get back to Bundaberg? Well, two of our Dream Trippers, Mira was one of them, live near Bundaberg and they were like, we'll give you a lift. It's fine. So, you know, I, I just love the magic of, uh, of dream trips, but the, the magic really is the people. So Mira, thank you so much, beautiful, for sharing tonight. 
Okay, so our next superstar that we're going to share, well, she is the TikTok queen. This girl travels extensively. She loves cruises. And I get really excited when you see someone who, and I keep losing count. I think she's got something like, 40,000 followers and she's had millions of views on her videos. So uh, Tracy, I know that this was your first dream trip. So uh, I'm gonna go down to Tassie and uh, ask you to share, please Tracy. And it was so nice to meet you in person. Yes, yes, well. thanks kick-ass Kylie. <laughs> no, it was so, it was lovely to meet you and everyone. So one of the, one of the things, I mean, yes, I have traveled a lot and I've also done a lot of solo um, travel as well around the world and um, this is my very first ever group um, especially dream trips but but a travel group um, that I've ever been on and what I took away from this was the um, basically what what's created here is a travel family so <clears throat> I even feel a bit teary talking about it. It was just so emotional um, leaving everyone. It's just like it, it's just it's, it's the travel family. We it's like we've all become long lost best friends. <laughs> it was um, absolutely amazing. It's definitely I'm. I mean, I, I definitely recommend traveling solo because that's that's fantastic as well. But having a travel family like this where we where you can travel all around the world and join up with dream trips anywhere in the world that excites me so for instance you know um i'll be traveling every time i travel now i'll be looking at where's the next where's the dream trips that's where we'll be going so we can link up in a dream trips travel and join up the family because i mean it's <laughs> that that was my biggest takeaway just the fact that it was we just created a family a travel family and it was just beautiful oh tracy you're making me cry <laughs> i can't believe i can't believe that i was i got a bit emotional when i spoke about that but that's that's it's it that's from the heart it was it it's how it got me it was beautiful loved it oh uh, Thank you so much for sharing, beautiful, and and it was so great to see you guys having such a great time and and seeing you and Lyndon like just totally all in and yeah, it was amazing to meet you guys in person. And I love what you shared that you know we had that instant connection, that instant travel family because you know you're right, that's exactly what we are. We're a family and um, we love to travel and have fun and seeing all of the families and all the kids you know hanging out together. It really was incredible so thank you beautiful lady and speaking of families we're gonna stay down in tassie and uh we're gonna cross over to super mama sarah so uh sarah i know this was your first dream trip and uh you were there with your family so would love to hear from you beautiful lady hey it's so great to see all of you again um yeah it was my very first dream trip, I was so jealous when Jeff got to go to Hawaii without me and we made the deal that he got to go to Hawaii. We do this as a family and then I get to do a dream trip somewhere by myself. But my absolute favourite thing of this whole trip, and I'm going to sound like everybody else, it was those connections that we made. Like The first night, our boys met Alison's kids and within an hour, it was like they'd known each other their whole lives. And then next day we met little Luke and Lachlan's been asking, when's the next time I get to see Luke? They've all been asking, when do we get to see our friends again? So, yeah, just that. And just watching them all to the extent that if you found one kid, you found all of them and they were just all there playing and having mm. the best time and just all looking after each other. And I love that us mums who were there too, like we could trust if we weren't with our kids that another mum had them and that was was really great to just to have that support because it's not always easy to do when you've got little kids and you, you're travelling. 
Beautiful, Sarah. And yes, I love our little mini dream trippers, how they all become instant best buddies and seeing them all running around. And look, I know when I used to take my two on dream trips when they were younger, prior to COVID, you know, they'd be like, when are we going on the next dream trip? Like, we need to see our dream trip friends. So yeah, I absolutely love that. And look, while we're down with you guys, um, Jeff, I know that you're not on the list because, you know, you share all the time, but I, I know this wasn't your first rodeo <laughs> you've been <on> a <laughs> before and you've been a part of this community now for, for 18 months, but you followed my journey with Dream Trips for eight and a half years. So would love to just get your perspective. You know, what was different for you on this Dream Trip, having your whole family there? Yeah, well, two totally different experiences from Hawaii to, to Fraser. So for, for, for me, it was it was the little, little, little things. It was knowing that we've got a host who has been there herself before and experienced the island before. And, and I really picked that up in Hawaii too. Like the, the host makes such a big difference. You know, that whole, you know, that local vibe and knowing where to go do things and what to do. And, and, um, like I've done a lot of travel myself solo as well and uh, with family, but they, just having that that know before you go host uh, does make a big difference. But the, the other little things too, though, um, I'm going to echo everybody else's. It's, it's the family, it's the community, but it's um, I reflect back on this last week. I'm sorry, I get a bit emotional about myself. Is now I'm just my children, like how they come out of their shell, you know, like the see to go from that that experience of never meeting complete strangers and our kids have grown up in church. So they've been, you know, met strangers all their life and know how to get along with strangers, but just to see them, you know, meet completely new people and still be a little bit standoffish in that first hour or two. But by the end of it, you know, the farewell dinner, my son Harrison doing the Moscow Russian dance, you know, he was the star of the show. Like I wonder where he gets that from sometimes, but you know, he, um, he was able to come out of his shell and really be himself. And, and I've just seen that their characters blossom because of that. And, and that only happens because they feel safe and, and uh, the community that they're in. And that's, I don't know, that's the, I feel that that is the magical ingredient for dream trips, right? There's nobody on planet earth that can beat what we have when it comes to that. And then to have Mark and Timmy Smith, the owners of the club, there with us just took it to a whole nother intimate level and uh i love that oh, um that we get to be pioneers of this you know can you imagine what that's going to be that, that dream trip itself is going to be like in 10 years time you know we were there we were the first ones to be able to there to really launch uh the oceana region and um that's it just blows me away so very very grateful Oh, thank you so much. And like, I just love these heartfelt shares. Like when people say to you, you know, what's a dream trip? My, my first response is, well, you actually just have to experience it because until you experience a dream trip, you, you just don't know. And, you know, even just listening to you all share tonight, you know, how do you put that in a slide? How do you explain that to somebody? And there is something that is so truly magical about a dream trip. And uh, yes, seeing your, your kiddos like just have such a great time, like, you know, and for you guys to have a family, like a holiday as a family all together, you know, that really is making memories that are going to be so special in their hearts for the rest of their lives. So, um, and I'll come back to you as, actually, I might, I'll do it now, Jeff, while you're here. Um, I, I mentioned earlier about the concierge service. Yeah. So are you able to just real quick um, give us your concierge experience as well? Yeah, we so, <laughs> as Sarah says, we love the concierge. <laughs> um, as Kylie mentioned before, I've been a member of the club now for 18 months, and uh, it was actually this time last year uh, I took the family on a Brisbane Gold Coast holiday uh, through our booking portal. And, and at the time, my son Harrison had broken his ankle about like five days prior to us going on the holiday. And um, I had no idea, you know, can't have him walking around crutches around Brisbane and the Gold Coast the whole time around. So I reached out to Kylie and Kylie said, well, why don't you reach out to the concierge and see if they could help? So I did. And uh, we organised a wheelchair 
And uh, within two hours of getting onto the concierge chat, uh, the wheelchair was delivered at the lobby uh, of our Brisbane hotel. All they had, to, they sorted it all out for us, and uh, all I had to do was just go down the lobby, pick it up, and and then leave it at the lobby for them to to, to for return. And, and they sorted everything out for us. Uh, whilst I was there, I got them to organise uh, dream trip. Um, sorry, dream trips, <laughs> movie world tickets, and uh, the the theme park tickets. And uh, so I asked them to you know to find some family friendly. Uh, events that they could you know we could do with a, a son in a wheelchair and they were able to organize that all for us just done dusted no stress and um, just last mother's day I forgot my mother's day uh, flowers and I was able to get up back onto the concierge and say help me save me and they were able to help you know deliver uh, flowers to my mum for mother's day so yeah absolutely love my concierge I'll never go anywhere without it I love it Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, I miss you guys already. And it's wait for the next one. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to talk about that super, super soon. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So we're now going to come north a little bit and uh, we're going to go to the Bris Vegas area to one of our youngest members. And uh, he, this was his first dream trip. He became king of the kids. And uh, I know especially my two absolutely loved Eli Creek and uh, going down on the biggie boards and throwing balls at each other. And, of course, the legend that I'm uh, referring to is Jacob Dunn. So over to you, gorgeous man. Would love for you to share your experience on Gari. Thank you, Kylie. Um, I honestly loved it because despite being, being a Brizzy local, I've never been to Fraser. Um, so to be able to experience it the, the way we did, like we got it, we drove up from Inskip Point up to the resort and then being able to spend four days in basically paradise. It's like the middle of winter, yet I'm walking around and boardies in a singlet. Like <laughs> it's just amazing how that works and then being able to meet everybody as well. Um, and then as you say, being able to meet um, Leo and Zach and then um, all of Jeff's kids as well. And then being able to hang around with everybody and just mingle with all the new friends that we've made. Um, it's just amazing. Like you normally find people just stick to their little groups that they have. But it, on the first night, we're all just mingling everywhere. Um, even with state of origin on. So there's a bit, a little bit left, a little bit of segregation. Go to the Maroons. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> um, Sorry, but Chris. Yeah, it was... <laughs> But yeah, it was awesome. And then that um, volleyball game that we played on the first day as well. Um, it was just an awesome vibe the whole trip. Um, I won't talk too much about the last night, but the last night was awesome. Um, if you were there, you were there. Um, I won't talk, of it, talk any further about it. <laughs> but if, for anyone that hasn't been on I'm one, intrigued I now. Like, which part of the last night? <laughs> oh, the whole night. Just the whole night. We'll just say that. <laughs> But yeah, for anyone that hasn't been on the dream trip, I highly, highly recommend it. And it was even a bonus having Mark and Tammy on there because I could honestly listen to Mark talk for a whole day. Like I was just latched onto him when he was talking. Um, and then I was able, we were able to ask him like personally questions. Like I asked him about the cruising and I got the answers that I wanted. I was like, what other company do you have the chance to do that with? So yeah. <laughs> It was amazing. That's so awesome, Dylan. And look, you were obviously one of, you're one of our youngest um, members. So how old are you for everybody else? Um, 19. 19 years young. And so being younger than, you know, all of the other members, like how did that make you feel? Did you feel like you were different? Did you feel like you're included? What was that experience for you? I mean, it, it was... It was weird. Like I sort of wish I had uh, like a few younger people around my age, but it was still nice to be able to like, I, I'm mature enough to be able to like speak to everybody and like feel that like they're actually listening to me. If that makes sense. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And, and I really do love that it doesn't matter how old you are, where you're from, what your background is, if you're rich, poor or anything in between, like, 
everyone is just loved and accepted and uh it was absolutely amazing jacob to have you on the trip and uh yes so many times i hear that and it's why we chose gari as one of the destinations that you know living in brisbane you really are a local it's in your backyard and you know you hadn't been there before and and i'm so glad that you came up with with uh, the cummins family and got to do the four-wheel driving as as an extra that's um yeah super super cool so great to have you part of the club buddy and can't wait to see you on the next trip i know i can't wait i, I won't <laughs> say the name i'm sure everybody knows but i'm i can't wait <laughs> not yet not yet not yet <laughs> soon soon Okay, so we're now going to head back down to Victoria, to the cold country, to Shepparton. And the lady I'm going to get to share next, oh, my goodness, I absolutely love and adore her. I've known her for many, many years, and this was not our first dream trip together. We have been a part of dream trips together for, goodness, the best part of a decade. And uh, this woman is just one of my dearest friends. She has the most beautiful heart. She just loves to help and serve other people. And of course, I'm talking about beautiful Diamond Dye. So over to you, Dye. And you just have to unmute, Dye. Dye, we've just got to get you to unmute, babe. Sorry. I don't know if I can do it from my computer. You can ask her to unmute her on your computer if you go to participants, but no, she needs to do it herself. Hey, I did. Hey, we got you. <laughs> oh, I'll get there. Look, yeah, you can tell how cold it is down here, guys, and I'm missing it all already. I can't believe the weather we had and the magic that happened. And I want to take my hat off to you, Kylie. I want to recognise you as the host with the most. <laughs> I've been on many dream trips and... Uh, my gosh, you really took the cake and, um, you know, the energy, the, the, the way that, you know, that you structured it all and, you know, it was so easy to, to find every, everyone and everything and, um, yeah, congratulations. You really rocked it for our first dream trip in Australia. So can't wait for many more. I know um, if you can organise that one and uh, all the ones we know are coming, um, there'll be many, many that join us. And speaking about what you said on our um, Fraser, um, sorry, Gari um, experience to the lake and the lady who came up and said to me, what are you all doing? And I said, well, we're having fun. We just started a club and aren't you here with the tour? And she said, yeah, you know, but you look like you just having so much fun and you know but I guess you know I'm in an old group and I go well you're never too old in this group so um we're actually meeting and um she ended up being like um in a suburb away from where my brother-in-law lives so I was staying in Melbourne so isn't it amazing who you meet and um I don't think anything happens by accident but what I do want to say is that we all became friends instantly that's just a dumb thing on dream trips. And, you know, the wait, guys, until you expand and you've got, you know, hundreds of friends all over the world. And I've actually um, just booked a trip because my daughter lives in Canada and um, reunited with a girl that was uh, previously a dream trips member. And I'm staying with her in San Francisco. So, um, how exciting is that after like a few years? She's now joined again. Um, it, it's so exciting just to be able to reconnect with people that you know that you love to travel with and, and she's a mountain of fun. So that's what it's about. It's about real friendships and uh, dream trips are just part of the connection that makes us, you know, add it on to, to our own trips and um, I can't wait, um, yeah, to see her. And I know that you will create the same when you uh, continue to do these dream trips, um, you're going to be lured into so many parts of the world that you never, never expected to travel. So that is an added adventure for you all to think about. Awesome, Di. Thank you so much for sharing, beautiful. And um, look, I know um, we have had a, a huge history together with dream trips and experienced many trips. And uh, look, for me, we've just had so many incredible memories together. But I don't know, for me, this one was like extra special. 
And I think because we're, you know, re-kicked off post-COVID, there was just a, a, something that was different and truly magical about this trip. Is there anything that you want to share around that? What I want to share is, you know, really straight from my heart. I've lost my husband since um, in December, since, you know, we used to have those trips together. And what really has touched me is, and the lady that I actually met uh, on the beach I just shared, she had also. So I realised, you know, for the first time in my life, you know, that I have travelled, had to travel alone, I thought I did. And it's just like the biggest gift ever. But I think the biggest thing for me, Kylie, is that, we're in Australia. We are able to take people and see their own country. And I travel around the world when I was younger with a backpack. And now I always said, you know, I'll leave it till later to see Australia. You, this has given us a chance. You've launched it here. Uh, you had the owners here. It just is real. And I know we've got even trips already on the chart. So my main excitement is that we can gather people and be able to travel easily in Australia together, although there's the whole world out there. That's what I really love. It's 10 times better than it ever was. I was in um, uh, held up in Sunshine Coast at the airport and I was thinking I'm in priority and there's no, like, lounge, five hours I had to wait. And I thought if I was just in, you know, an airport with a um, lounge, I could have just been having the ball, you know, eating the food and drinking the drinks. And and so I am going to make sure that wherever I go now, I'm going to an airport with an airport lounge so I can make sure <laughs> I'm taken care of. And uh, all of that that they've added into it, all the extra, you know, cruise um, vouchers, all of that is just such an added bonus to what we ever had but the people are what makes it magic. But I'm really happy that we've got Australia going. You have. You have. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Di. Look, I, I agree. You know, so many people, you know, haven't been able to travel or haven't experienced Australia. And, you know, Mark and Tammy, our owners, they've travelled extensively and they were just blown away. Like they had never even heard of Fraser Island or Gary. And I'm like going, I'm like totally pitching this trip to bring them down under and they're just like like oh like I could tell that you know they're a little bit hesitant and especially when I, I get Chris to share in a moment you know we we took them on a special VIP extra tour um to the beach for we're driving and like within a day they've seen you know Central Station Lake Mackenzie they're forward driving through the island and then we take them to the wrecks at Mahino with dolphins, sorry, not dolphins, um, humpback whales breaching all over the place. Like they were just dancing and putting on the best performance. Like any one of those things would have been amazing. Then we go to Elo Creek and like the look on their faces are like, oh my gosh, we've seen this on YouTube. Like this place is amazing. And, and that was incredible on its own. And then like, you know, Chris is taking the fall diving through the creek and through all the sand and they're just like, oh my gosh, like this, you Aussies, like this is amazing. And then they saw dingoes, then they saw three delinquent dingoes, you know, kind of attacking this person, which they're just like, oh my gosh. And then on the way back, we see this massive shark feeding frenzy, like just metres off the shore. Like talk about, you know, turning it on. But do you know what? We are so super blessed because that's Australia. <laughs> and, you know, I know... Um, we're really excited Chris is putting together a trip up to the Northern Territory where he used to be a, a tour guide. And, you know, like it, it doesn't matter where we go. And even when we went to Hawaii, like there's something about um, us Aussies, you know, we bring the fun and it does take it next level. Like Dream Trips is incredible. But, you know, I want to acknowledge our team. You know, when we add, you know, the, the Oceana group in, you know, I, I just, it just makes me so super proud of the people. And of course, this is an invite only travel club. And the one free night that we had on our dream trip, you guys all chose to have dinner together. We had to organize an extra dinner, you know, and that just shows how incredible the group is, which is, which is really, really super special. So with that, um, would love for my gorgeous friend, Mr. Chris Cummins, to share. And Chris, I just want to thank and acknowledge you, legend, like for doing that extra forward driving tour. But Chris had 
pretty much like his he had the the biggest group there so many of his family you know he had his son there um like just his brother there like they hadn't been there before even his ex-wife there like that really says something about who Chris is so Chris just would love for you to share um your perspective as well babe yeah thanks guys so uh, just to um I gotta echo on what everybody said like um I think dream trips and now this one being my second one is um the first thing was I walk in the room and I kind of knew everybody even though I'd never met anybody and it was really hard not just to say hello. I had to hug everybody. Like it was like, man, I haven't seen you forever <laughs> and I've never seen you. So I've gone up and I hugged everybody and, and that just sort of set the tone from word go. But I think with dream trips, it actually gives, because you're in with like-minded people, it actually gives you the right to be a kid again and be excited and express it and nobody's going to look at you any different. They're just as excited as you are and you kind of give each other permission to be excited and the whole thing was just so beautiful the setting was insane the weather was insane it was like the gods just put the whole thing together it was just absolutely amazing um there wasn't a person there that um he couldn't just walk up to any time and talk about anything i think that first night with the state of origin and a few beers that sort of just lowered everybody's guard so we're all like family from there on in um yeah and it, it was one of those things that um it's I think dream trips for me is just having that community and, and you can't you can't um, put enough value on it because um, every single person there had every single person's back. Like anything we could have done to make anybody else's holiday pleasurable, whether it was help with the kids or whether it was like even my 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 uh, my daughter stayed and looked after the kids while um, all, the, all the girls wanted to go and do the, um, the conference with Mark and Tammy. So it's one of those community things where everybody sort of jumps in and helps out um I've got to be honest I thought Mark and Tammy were absolutely insane I thought the way that they were just normal people the same as we were the way we could walk up to them and talk to them uh the excitement on both their faces like uh they've been on thousands of dream trips and they're sitting there going this is just insane and they felt like they're in the the uh untamed uh, wilderness when we got on the other side of the island um and then it's just you know we had a couple of different walks of life in a sense too like we had the um all the New Zealanders come over too and everybody just bonded as a community and um while we, we hang uh, crap on each other at the end of the day we love everybody the same um and it's and, and you're right Jeff I was just watching the kids and how they come out with the more time we spent with them like um your little guy wouldn't leave Jaden alone he was like absolutely fascinated with him <laughs> everywhere he went Jaden went um, but yeah it was just a, a really really fun family and um, and the thing that really blew my mind, to be totally honest with everybody, is the day we were leaving, I lined up to say goodbye to, to Mark and Tammy. And I said, uh, have a safe journey home and uh, I'll catch up with you on the next dream trip. And um, and then I went to walk away and then three of the ladies going, where are you going? you got to say goodbye to us. So I had to go back and give them a cuddle and a kiss as well. And it was like... Um, it was like trying to sneak out with saying goodbye to your mum. So I was like, okay, I'm coming back. I'm going to give you a cuddle and a kiss. So I just love that family community. Um, Fraser Island was just so beautiful. You, you couldn't have picked a better place to launch us. And I think that's something that will stick in all our heads. Um, there's lots of different um, people, but they all come together as one community and uh, absolutely love it. Um, and I'm planning to be on every single dream trip I can possibly be on. So I'm hoping to see all you guys on lots and lots and bring a couple of friends so we get bigger and bigger. And that's what I want to say about dream trips. The four driving was fantastic. Spending time with all of yous. And Kylie, you did do absolutely amazing. Uh, you were an amazing host. And for 10 to 15 minutes there, I didn't think you were going to make it. And then we'd ring back and, no, I've come up with a solution. And and uh, the, the amount of effort you have to go through just to get there. Um, and then compose yourself enough to to pull it off and still have fun. That's the hardest thing. Like um, hosting's one thing, but to, to blend in and still have fun. Uh, I think you just did a fantastic job. And I know Mark and Tammy felt the same. So congratulations. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to give you a huge shout out too, mate. These hats, they're fantastic. Like you did a really good job pulling those off. And uh, I see Jacob's Don and his on too. And uh, <laughs> these are a collector's item now, right? They so, are. Yeah. First hat, first dream trip. And, and look at this. State of origin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just look so, at it. Yeah. So on the hats, we've, <laughs> we've you, got buddy. a plan for the next one, but I'll we'll, we'll come to that in just a moment. Um, 
one more point I just wanted to share um, from what Chris was talking about on having the Kiwis. So we had three amazing Kiwis come over. And this is how dream trips roll, right? So Lee and uh, her husband, Steve, are here in the Wit Sundays tonight. So they asked if they could come up. They're staying um, at the beautiful, oh my goodness, I'm seriously having a blank. This is, I, My brain has craft disease after 5 p.m. Coral Sea Marina Resort, that's where they are. And um, it was um, Georgie, I think maybe on, yes, she is. Georgie, my beautiful friend who I've known my entire adult life, who actually is doing everything behind the scenes for dream trips and putting together our Aussie Oceana trips. And George, I'm so freaking grateful to you. And, uh, and I know that you've helped hook them up with kind of their own VIP private dream trip here in the Wit Sundays. And I picked them up and um, we have just had the best afternoon with them. Um, Steve's organized to go fishing with Zach in a couple of days. They've got a full day trip tomorrow. Um, I took Lee, took her to the right shop. We just made it before they closed to get a new swim for tomorrow and you know that's just how we roll like that's the dream trips community and uh just just so super grateful and on that before I go to um sharing our two next dream trips for down under that have not been released yet you can't even book these yet we're just giving you a heads up one of the things that's really important for our community um to be able to grow and create the experience is the people and we are a VIP invite only travel club. And uh, I am going to swear, so just mute for like the next five seconds if you don't want to hear it. We have an anti dickhead policy. Like we don't invite negative Nellies to be part of our group. We invite people who we love, who are fun, who we want to have come join us for amazing trips. And uh, it's really important that we have the right people. And we absolutely have the right people. Um, as part of our Oceana travel community who were on that Gari trip. And I'm so proud and honoured. And uh, it's important for us that we make a good impression on the resort. Because if we turn up and we trash the rooms and we're not respectful and polite and a pleasure to deal with, they're not going to want us back. And uh, I'm super grateful, George, and I, and I never know what this is yet. This is a surprise <laughs> for me, so I'm probably going to cry. But uh, uh, George, who put the trip together for us, received an email today from Paulina, who was our event manager from King Fisher Bay Resort. And these guys have groups come through all the time. And she actually took the time to send George an email to give feedback about our group so Jeff I know you've got the magical email in front of you so I'm going to hand back down to you as Georgie said to me this morning said uh we've got Kyle's got to have a few surprises too right so <laughs> bypass Kyle and come straight to me and and Kylie has never seen this yet too so you're all hearing this from the first time so here's a, here's the review I'll just read it out word for word the group on the island was fantastic Kylie was an absolute amazing to work with and made everything smooth on site. Thank you for all of the organization and keeping me updated with all of the changes and making this conference slash trip such a success for everyone. We hope to welcome you back to Kingfisher Bay Resort soon. Paulina, Kingfisher Bay Resort. Oh, yay. Thank you, Jeff, for reading that. Just absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely such an incredible trip so guys I'm really mindful of time so I promised you know we do have an hour of power and uh, we've got four minutes left so I'm going to share my screen again and uh, remember these trips are not live in the portal yet we are literally still putting them together and finalizing the details and even literally like um, one minute before this call I'm messaging Georgie like this is how we launched it at the conference. We're like messaging George in the morning and having phone calls and can we share it? Can we not? So uh, we have got it to share with you. And yes, it's a sneak peek. But here's the thing, guys. These trips have limited numbers and they are going to book out super, super fast. So we're giving you a heads up so that you can be ready if you need to go get another credit card or borrow money or do whatever you got to do, like you want to be ready because as soon as they go live, they are going to sell out. Everyone all over the world has now watched through social media 
Um, yes, <laughs> sell your car. Who needs a car? Um, <laughs> I'm just going to Uber everywhere from now on. It was way more convenient than driving. Um, so <laughs> uh, let me share these two spectacular trips that we now have coming up. Remember, these are just the Aussie trips. There are trips all over the world. They're just, these are the two next Aussie ones that we are about to launch. So let me just share my screen. Okay. Win Sundays! <laughs> oh my goodness. We have been working on pulling this trip together forever. And you know what? I adjusted the dates and I didn't adjust the days. So from the sneak preview that you all saw on Gari, we've actually now added an extra night. So we've added the Sunday night as well. So it was originally the 5th to the 8th. It's now the 5th to the 9th, which we are really excited about. And uh, this resort is literally just down there. It's so close to where I live, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, oh my goodness, Ely Beach is the, or, or the Whit Sundays, is the number two tourist destination in the world. And it actually just won um, the Queensland's top tourism or top town award in Queensland. So we're a little bit proud of our town. And uh, this is where we will be staying which is the Mantra Club Crocodile. Now, look, you don't come to the Whit Sundays for a hotel. Is it the best hotel? No. And we made an actual decision not to stay at the best because it just makes the price blow out. The number one reason why you come here to the Whit Sundays is to see the Whit Sundays, to get out on the island, to go to Whitehaven Beach, voted the number two beach in the world, um, to go snorkeling and see the Great Barrier Reef. So this trip is going to be epic. Um, there will be add-on options. So this is the 5th to the 9th of October. Um, it's actually five days, four nights. Sorry, I only half updated the slide. And there are a bunch of inclusions with this. Now, there are two airports you can fly into. You can fly into Hamilton Island or the Whit Sundays. If you choose the Whit Sundays, you'll have your um, airport transfers included. If you come through Hamilton Island, you've just got to um, book your ferries, which we can help you with, but there will be a cost. Um, welcome cocktails. Of course, we'll have our signature Dreamsicle cocktail um, to, uh, to welcome you all. And, and that welcome party is such an integral part of dream trips because you do get to instantly connect and meet and greet other dream trippers, which is amazing. Uh, we have a jam-packed full-day tour. This is like four tours in one um, where we will be going to Whitehaven Beach, which is my favourite place on earth. Um, the lunch on that tour is incredible, but my favourite part, as much as Whitehaven Beach is my absolute favourite place on earth, we're going to do not one but two snorkeling um, sessions and we'll have our very own eco host, our own reef guide for those snorkeling sessions. Um, so who knows, you might get to swim with turtles, you'll definitely see Nemo. Um, there's just, you might see one of the massive giant Maori wrasse or giant trevally. Like there are so many incredible species and marine life and corals that you're going to experience. And, and that time of the year, the weather is going to be perfect. And, uh, of course, we'll have our farewell party with more drinks and dancing. You're going to have another amazing host on that one, and that's going to be yours truly once again. We are working on a second host, so that just depends on numbers. And, of course, this is where I live. So, for me, I just feel so truly proud and honoured to be able to actually welcome you to my home and to showcase what I believe is the number one destination in Australia. So be really ready for that to come out. It's going to be a really short booking window um, because we are such a popular tourist destination. Um, you're going to have to book that straight away. So uh, we're hoping to have it live in the system within the next week or so. So just be ready to book it the second that that trip gets released. And now this next one, oh, I almost feel like we need a drum roll, dream trips are about making dreams come true, giving you an experience that you can't put together yourself. And this next one, this is actually a destination that I have been to so many times. But what we've put together, this has been part of my dream bucket list for a really long time. And that is to celebrate 
New Year's Eve in iconic Sydney, Australia. Now, this trip is going to be next level off the Richter scale, amazing. So we have got, of course, arrival on the 30th of December with our welcome party, our dreamsicle. For New Year's Eve, you're going to be celebrating New Year's Eve, wrapping up the year, celebrating, finishing the year with a bang on the Sydney Harbour in the exclusion zone with food, with drinks, with some of your favourite people on the planet because they're dream trippers and we're going to watch not one but two fireworks shows. This is going to be the best New Year's Eve you've ever had in your entire life and, uh, oh, my goodness, I'm so excited. Now, as much as I love New Year's Eve, for me, New Year's Day is a really special day. You know, it's it's setting the setting the, the standard, the pace, the tone, the theme for your new year. What is 2024 going to look like for you? And I love to do something really special and iconic for New Year's Day. Well, I don't know how we could do it any better than this with a Twilight Harbour Bridge climb. Like how incredible. You'll get your certificate. We've got a photo package included. And of course, you're going to have um, just the absolute best, 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 best photos on New Year's Day, kicking off your day one of 2024 on top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge in, um, in that uh, incredible time of the day watching the sunset. So night before, you're going to have the best photos ever for, uh, for I think, what's one of the best fireworks shows in the world. And then New Year's Day on the Sydney Harbour Bridge, like really, it is just going to be next level. This trip will not be a cheap trip. It's a dream trip. It's not a crap trip. It's a dream trip. And uh, this one is also not for kids. So this is an adults only trip. It is going to be absolutely epic. And I cannot wait to celebrate New Year's Eve with my favorite family, all of our dream trippers. So I want to know in the chat, Who's excited? Who's coming to the Whit Sundays? Who's coming to Sydney? And again, we can't even um, book these trips without paying in advance for them. So again, when this trip goes live, everybody has to get on it straight away. Mark and Tammy Smith are tossing up between two destinations for New Year's. Sydney's one of them. So uh, let's make sure we all book it. And uh, there is a chance, just a little chance, um, that potentially Mark or Tammy could be joining us as well. So Dream Trippers and guests, thank you so much for joining us for our Let's Talk Travel Tuesday call tonight. Um, if you were a guest online with us, please get back to the person who invited you and uh, let them know if you want to Jump in with all of us crazy fun people for just $1 to lock in your membership. And uh, yes, Julie, there will definitely be accommodation included. We can't release the details as of yet, but uh, yes, absolutely. You have accommodation included on both of, uh, on all dream trips, for sure. All right, lovelies. Well, I would love you to, as we wrap up the call, pop in the comments and let me know what was your number one highlight from the call tonight, what did you love the most about everything that was shared? And, uh, of course, we do these calls every Tuesday night and uh, we cannot wait to see you next Tuesday for Let's Talk Travel. All right, guys, love you. I appreciate you all. I miss you all already and uh, can't wait to see you on the next Dream Trip super soon. See you guys. Mwah. See you, everyone.